Hey, good evening, YouTube. So this is my uh, 7x12 metal cutting bandsaw. This is the down feed cylinder. And I think this just used to have a bunch of washers there. The whole uh, piston rod centered on this bolt here. And it never really worked good. So at one point I made this piece out of plastic. So I drilled a through hole and then a cross hole here to hold that. That works okay, except the plastic is, by the time you drill this big hole here, it, it tends to squish. So I'm thinking I will basically remake that part, but in aluminum, see if I can get a better grip. Because one of the things you can see, you can see how it wiggles there. So if you try to tighten it too much, this pl plastic compresses and then it just doesn't hold the rod and the bolt loosens up and then after a while you've got a, a loose bolt there. But anyway, there's the part I made and you can see, unfortunately, it doesn't have the desired mechanical strength. And then you can see what the, the bolt here where the piston rod goes through there. It's just worn all the threads away. This end's still fine down here, but right there it's pretty well worn out. So I think I'm going to try to make one of those out of uh, some metal. So let's go take a look at that in the lathe here. I was thinking this was a metric bolt, but it's actually 3 8 coarse. Now I know what size hole to drill. Okay, so I have a piece of one inch round aluminum stock and I'm going to drill 3 8 hole through there. There's one side, just clean up the other side. I got it faced off already. There we go. So that should just about match. There's the old plastic piece. I figured the plastic one had collapsed a little bit, so I made it back to, I think this is 1.2, and I made this 1.25 inches. doesn't really matter. You just need to be able to get your hole drilled in there. Okay, I'm set up on the center of this, so inch and a quarter long, which is about 32 millimeters, and the spacing from the side of the saw frame to the center of the rod is about 5 eighths of an inch or 16 millimeters. So you pretty much just drill straight down through the center. So I came over half an inch from the fixed jaw, so I think I'm there. Okay, I've got a 9 16 or 14 millimeter bit in there. Yeah, I think I'll let that cool off a bit before I deburr it. So I'll get back to you once this cools off a bit and we can see if it fits. Okay, there we go. Better deburred a little bit. So I drilled the holes just slightly off center because that way it gives me like that's a little bit short and that's just right there. So yeah, if you make it roughly inch and a quarter long and then drill the hole just slightly off center. And then I looked around, I have a 3 8 by 2 bolt. So I think a 2 and a half inch bolt is about the right size. I have a 3 inch, but it's too long. Uh, 3 inch, the threads are too far out. So I think a 2 and a half is about the right size. Okay, I think we got it. I had to take a couple of passes off the short face here. Maybe 20 thousandths or so to because you have to get the rod perpendicular to the bolt hole so you have to start out a little heavy on this side and then whittle it down of course with the plastic one I didn't have to worry about that because it was it would squish into place let's see how that works yeah that's good and solid so yeah I think that'll do it Okay, let's fire up the saw and see what happens here.
kind of see how square that cut is here. I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, there's still a bit of vibration in there. I'm trying to figure out what is causing that. I think that helped a little bit because I was, I was feeling over here when I was cutting and I wasn't getting any vibration there. Something is causing this to vibrate and it does it with two different blades. This is a 1014 variable pitch blade that's supposed to be anti-vibration but it vibrates sometimes and then I've got a straight blade. I think it's a six tooth per inch blade that I use for plastic and that one will vibrate too so still chasing that vibration issue. It must be uh, like a couple of things so at least that piece helped a little bit I think because I was getting quite a bit of motion there. You could see the saw was vibrating on on the end of the piston and so I was also I was trying to adjust the down feed rate because I think that kind of helps. You can see I've got it quite slow right now. You can see how slow the down feed is. Yeah, if anyone has any any other ideas what to look for with this uh, vibration, I've changed the uh, guide bearings which I thought might help. Seem to help a little bit and then now I've changed that part and I've got the piston refilled with oil so it's now working properly. So here's the blade tension. It's about as tight as I can get it. Yeah, so if anyone has any ideas what else to check for on the blade vibration, I am I will try a, a new metal blade in here, but I don't want to just put a new blade in without fixing everything else first. I don't think it's this blade. And you can see it's actually runs smooth. The blade isn't broken. So yeah, if anyone has any ideas, uh, go ahead and post up in the comments section down below and I'll put some of the other bandsaw videos over here on the left side. Okay, YouTube, I think I have this sorted out. I picked up a slightly longer screw. That was the one I had in there, two inch, and I went with a two and a half like this with some unthreaded part on there. So I think that's just going to work. The th unthreaded part comes at least partway into the rod. We'll see how that works. And so what I did was I put a little uh, Loctite on the threads and screwed it in so it was tight. And then I backed the screw out about a quarter turn. So this is able to rotate because as you lift the saw up, this needs to pivot a little bit, has to, not very much, but you can see how it, how it rolls just a bit there. So I had it loose enough to roll without getting any play in there. And I'm hoping that the, the Loctite will keep the, the bolt from loosening. I think the problem is if you tighten this tight, every time you lift it and drop it, there's a slight twist on that that bolt and it's going to gradually unscrew itself and loosen up. So anyway I thought I'd show you my fix for the down feed rod attachment bushing. We got to go back to work here this afternoon so as always thanks for watching. <laughs>